in charge. Well, the flag is up. Up the straight deserves a positive mention as well. Bit of thought of him, and he's got some nice form. The dam from the family of Corbier. Anyway, they're off and running. Let's go for the call. Two miles and three furlongs is the trip, and they'll have 16 fences to jump. Only one of these has run in a novice chase so far, and that is Sir Pick Door in the blue and pink colours, who is the leader as they come to fence number one. Uh, Chantry House is just about in second position, only narrowly ahead of up the straight as they quickly come down to number two. About a couple of length lead for Pick Dory, who'll move now to the first of the open ditches. They'll take three on the way round. There'll be fences three, nine, and 13. It's four or five length advantage for Pick Dory as he moves then on towards number four. Over odds on favourite, Chantry House, a green, yellow jacket, white cap. Very narrowly in second position. He's only be a neck or half length or so. Over up the straight, the outsider of the trio as they run then uh, to the home turn for the first time. Make their way to two plain fences down the straight which would be numbers five and six. Harry Cobden on Pick Dory leading the way. Out in front, uh, three or four lengths ahead. Off to the right is Chantry House, Nico de Boinville. And then James Davis, white and red jacket, light blue sleeves on up the straight. Still a, a neck or half length behind Chantry House and the back mark of the trio. So they run now on towards uh, number six. Another plain fence. Pick Dory comes towards it, good leap over it, a couple of lengths ahead only. Now to Chantry House and um, up the straight, who's about three parts of a length behind in third. So a bit of a run now, they'll turn right hand ahead to the far side and begin the downhill run as they head towards fence number seven of this Ascot Racecourse Support Safer Gambling Week Novices Chase. Three of them and covered only by about three or four lengths or so. Pick Dory is very much the highest earner in this field. His uh, career earnings 265,000 or so so far. That's five times the career earnings of the other uh, duo combined. Pick Dory at seven, safely over it, lands a couple of lengths ahead to against the running rail up the straight, and one off the rail has been throughout so far. Chantry House. Here's eight. All safe over it. They're running down now towards number nine, which is the second one of the open ditches. Still only three or four lengths between the trio. Continues to be Pick Dory in the colours of Mrs. Johnny de la Haye out in front. Nose-bounded runner comes towards fence number nine. The other two on the downhill run getting much closer now, only a length or so uh, behind was up the straight. Is owned by the Forever Partnership. Just moved very narrowly into second place over Chantry House in the colours of J.P. McManus. So now here's number 10, trio over it safely. And they have now completed a circuit. They've got six more to jump from here. They're about to swing right-handed and soon they'll begin the uphill run towards home. Now it's slightly under a length advantage now for Pick Dory. Continues to have the advantage though. The outside of the trio up the straight has moved at this point of the race into second place. And he's now one length ahead of the odds on favorite Chantry House. But uh, there's only three lengths at very maximum between the trio as they come on to number 11. Pick Dory, good leap over it, lands by just over a length again to up the straight in second place and a little over a length to Chantry House in third. Now number 12, again all over it well and approaching now the final one of the open ditches which is four fences from the finish. The nose banded Pick Dory, the very light blue sleeves of up the straight touchdown almost together there. On the right is Chantry House still one length behind those as now they really begin to motor down towards three from the finish and Pick Dory got into the and goes. Pick Dory number two is a fall up. And so up the straight is in front now as they come towards the home turn to Chantry House in second place. Both Pick Dory and his rider Harry Cobden are safely on their feet as the other two now level up to the final two. Plain fences on the left is up the straight. On the right is Chantry House who's just encouraged along to try and get level with up the straight. At the second last big leap from Chantry House goes through to a two length advantage there. Up the straight in second place is now three or four lengths behind him and as they head down towards 
towards the final obstacle. Chantry House now moves on to it with almost a 10 length advantage. Big leap safely over it and second money will go to up the straight. So they head into the closing stages and it is Chantry House who makes a winning steeplechasing debut with Nico de Boinville and wins easily indeed as up the straight and James Davis will be the second one home. Yeah, Chantry House makes a winning chase debut. Pick Door, he looked to get straight back to his feet, but we'll have a look for you in a moment. Check all is well there. The odds have been landed, and his best two jumps, Mick, were when he was under a bit more pressure over the last two. What did you think? Yeah, look, we're going to have a little look in a little bit later in detail at the jumping, but the last four obstacles, it was amazing. You watch Nico, he, he, he opens him up and he says, come on. I'm squeezing you down here. The stride is long. Go on, oh, quick and in to get to it. That's a lovely sight. Mm. See, picked Doherty up after that. He'd actually jumped quite well. Mick, take us through his jumping. Oh, uh, look, the great thing about Ascot running over this sort of trip is you start uphill, and these first few fences are lovely for horses to jump. They just, you can almost feel a horse grow in confidence because this is very different and very new for Chantry House and up the straight, the horse that you can see just in behind here. Chantry House. He's starting to get into a little bit of flow here. Now you turn down the hill. This is the tricky part of the course here. If you're going to be found out, this might well be it. You can see Nuka de Boinville riding Chantry House, just getting him to get in a little bit deeper. Pop. Just watch how quickly he snaps his front end up. That's what you're looking for here. Now Nico starts to ask the questions of him because he wants the horse to close up on these two. And he really and starts to fly, yeah, this, doesn't he? This is the real crux of the race here. Unfortunately, we lose Pick Dorhe now. And Nico sets this fella about his job. Really opens him up here down over the last couple. And just look at that. Faultless, really high in front. If anything, it's a fraction too high. But I'm being very picky. And I think the trainer will be absolutely delighted with that performance. So will the jockey. And hopefully JP McManus watching on TV will feel the same way as well. You know what that feels like. I bet Nico got a real thrill off that. When you ride good horses, Alex, you get a real buzz because you're already thinking ahead. You're thinking of targets down the line. And this fella is certainly heading that way after that pretty faultless performance.